Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to a slightly different episode today. Today we're going to think a little bit about why kayakers need to keep fit, what it is that we can do in order to keep our fitness up even when we're not directly paddling and keeping paddling fit, uh, things that we can do for cross training and complementary exercise that we can use to maintain paddling fitness even when we're not kayaking itself. So the first question we need to address is why do kayakers need to keep fit? Besides the standard health answers, I think as kayakers the, the ability to take care of ourselves in terms of our control over the boat, our um, endurance to be able to paddle for a long time is something that's really important. In fact, I would argue that we have a duty of care to ourselves and our friends to be fit enough to perform rescue, to be able to be fit enough to place ourselves where we need to be on the river or on the river bank. Not only that, most of us hopefully have a desire to paddle for a long duration. We hope to be able to paddle until we're quite old and we hope to be able to paddle for long periods at a time as well. And that requires a certain level of stamina, fitness, muscle conditioning. As well as that, we can't always be kayaking. For those of us who are weekend warriors, people who are only able to get out around a busy schedule of life, work, family, whatever else, actually aiming to have these regular, short, fun cross-training exercises is really important. And in turn, that makes kayaking more fun for us too, because we will be able to access more and higher level skills and locations. So here are a few cross-training suggestions that you can use for your kayaking. Well, I doubt this will come as a special revelation to anyone, but running is one of the greatest things that you can do as a cross-training for kayaking. It's not necessarily training any of the specific muscle groups that we do use in kayaking, but it is excellent for cardio because there's one muscle that you're definitely using while you're kayaking and that is your heart. So I like to run no more than once a week, to be honest. It's all you need as an average Joe to keep yourself heart healthy. So there you go, running's number one. Woo! Another great cross training alternative is swimming or swim derivatives like surfing. Another alternative, especially if running is a bit too high impact for you, is a simple walk, a bit of hiking, especially if you can get it to include a bit of gradient like this. It will be good for your heart, good for the joints and the muscles and just all round full body fitness. And finally, home workouts. This is just body weight exercise for muscle conditioning and development. But before we move on to looking at one of those workouts that's aimed for beginners, I just want to give you a little bit of an update. Thank you so much for all the people who have tuned in and have recently subscribed. We've had a huge load of subscribers from the last few tutorial videos, which is really encouraging. So thank you very much. If you're a recent subscriber, can I encourage you to hit that notification bell and also if you've been a recent subscriber and have enjoyed my videos, then consider passing my videos on to someone else that you might know who may also enjoy them. When this video is released, I will be in Iceland. So I guess technically I'm in Iceland right now as you're watching this. But I just wanted to let you know that I will be producing 
more tutorials that are on the way. There's still a paddleless cartwheel tutorial coming very soon. The other one of these workout videos coming very soon, along with all of the Iceland content itself. I'm aiming to produce a daily video log of what we've done every day in the Iceland trip. I'm also aiming to put together a more documentary style full length video somewhere in the region of 20-25 minutes hopefully of the entire trip as well as anything else that we manage to film that will aid future tutorials on boofing, running waterfalls, moving around the river, all that sort of stuff. So look forward to all of that coming in the near future. I also just wanted to let you know that this is the first video where I am using new editing software and I'm attempting to up my production value a little bit, trying to use multiple cameras, all that sort of stuff. So please let me know in the comments below what you think of the, of the quality, if there's a noticeable improvement in the quality, and let me know things that maybe I could try that would aid the quality further. Cool, with that said, the next few videos are going to be workouts for kayakers aimed at different levels. Even if you live a busy life, these are short, so you can litter them throughout your week, helping you to stay fit even if you're not paddling. The aim or expectation of these videos is not for people to become athletes, but it's simply aiming to add movement and muscle conditioning to the everyday routine of normal people like you and I. Personally, I'm doing mine outdoors because I prefer to be outdoors wherever possible. And I'm inclined to believe that it's what we were designed for rather than being cooped up in an artificially lit gym. But if that's not to your liking, then feel free to stay inside. All you need is a yoga mat for comfort. And to be honest, that's not even really a must. I quite often forego it. So this is going to be a beginner workout something to help build and strengthen the core muscles for kayaking. As I said, look out for the more advanced workout coming very soon. And while this is for beginners, it is intentionally a high intensity workout, so that even this five minute stint here will give the feeling of improvement and having worked. I'm gonna set my timer going and let's go.
Oh, there we go. Take a little rest. And that's it. Well done everyone for joining in, or hopefully some of you followed along. Hopefully you can use or adapt this workout on a regular basis to keep yourself conditioned and continually develop your kayaking muscles. And perhaps after a while you'll want to move on to the advanced version. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.